Hey, so um, Olivia and I just got in our hotel in, uh, I want to pronounce Nimes, and right from the from the train station to here is about a five minute walk, and I'm going to tell you right now, I wish I had more than one night here. This is a total my pace environment, wow. And there's some cool stuff right outside the door, literally right outside the door of our hotel. I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to put it together but I'm gonna do it as I exit the hotel. The room is, is pretty meager. It's not um, anything really fancy. I don't even think there's a refrigerator in here, but um, we're only here for one night. Olivia's bed, my bed, pretty good sizable bathroom. Um, unfortunately, there's not a refrigerator. I kind of like having refrigerators, but uh, I get over it. But when I walk out the door of this hotel, you guys are not gonna be with, within feet, literal feet of where we're staying. It is just freaking awesome. Uh, the only thing I wish I would have, if I would have known now, if I would have known now, if I would have known then what I know now, two nights. If you're ever in the area and you got a chance to stop off at Nims, Nims, I'm probably, I don't know how they pronounce it, two nights here. Two nights by the train station, you won't regret it. Okay, I'm going to loop it up and get back to you guys in just a bit. Okay, maybe just holding the door. I just wanted to do this from the actual door to our hotel. Check this out. Look at this. Wait till you see this. So, this is one of the most intact, still in use, Roman amphitheater. Now the arch architectural term for these things are amphitheaters. I, we saw, this is our fourth one actually, the one in Rome, we often we, we refer to it as the Colosseum because there was a Colossus statue outside of it. So we, nobody knows where that's at anymore. At least I don't know where that statue went to. So the one in Rome gets the name Colosseum because there was a statue of a huge Colossus man outside. From the Roman one in Rome, the next one we saw was the second one in Rome. That was that free one. And it was the amphitheater of Marcellus, I think I said. And then from, the, from that one, the next one we saw the third one we saw was the amphitheater in Pompeii that we were able to just walk into. So um, that was three of them, this is four. We're in Nimes, Nimes, France, and this is right outside our hotel. We, we gotta get a bite to eat because we're both starving. So we're gonna do that now, and I'll do more coverage of this amphitheater. I'll tell you guys more about it later. This is so classic to have this little cafe on the corner. Right, right in the shadow of this Colosseum. I think this is something that you don't really see that people don't appreciate. Oh, let's cross here real quick. I'm just, we're still hunting down a place to eat, but I just wanted to get, it's a really good time of day because the lighting's real nice. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do another selfie photo because you get more of it here. You can get right up to this thing. You got this cool cafe. I mean, there is, these are wide open streets. Wow, this is totally my pace. Nobody's honking, no ambulances running around. No, nobody trying to sell you anything. Nobody trying to pickpocket your wallet on a subway. Yeah, I, I could have really, really, uh, if I had thought this out, I would have really had been two, minimal two nights here. We got here about 5 p.m. The train ran a little bit late. We had a great train day. Uh, got in all the trains we needed. Um, we had a great breakfast this morning. We just gotta hunt down something to eat now. But I'll tell you more about this place later. I mean, like I said, the only thing, wish I would've had two days here. So Olivia and I are sitting down to um, have dinner here, but I wanna show you guys something. And I'm gonna also play what we're eating. We're gonna have a really great meal. Still in uh, Nimes. Uh, but anyways, check out their bottles. This is also in Italy. When the cap, when they undo the cap, the caps stay on. There, or there's like a hinge to it. Some of them are, some of them are a flip cap, and other ones are like this. I just realized something. This is the first time Olivia and I are eating. This is the first time Olivia and I are actually eating French fries in France. So I got the French fries, a steak, ratatouille, and a salad. And Olivia got very similar. She got, a, she got a chop steak, which is like a ground beef thing. But yes. First time eating a french fry in France. A little salad. There's a little pizza salad in that. That's good, real good. So I would imagine that if I was filming this 
And I didn't tell you guys I was actually in France, in Nîmes, France, or Nîmes, however you want to pronounce it. And I, I could probably tell you, hey, here I am at the Roman Colosseum in Rome. I would imagine that a lot of you guys would believe me because this is pretty much what it looks like in Rome. <clears throat> this one's not as big, obviously. And the Roman Colosseum of all four that we've been to, all different amphitheaters that we've been to, yeah, the Roman one is the largest, but I do believe that this one is the most intact for the era. era. It might be the most intact and the oldest. No, I think that's the one in... Oh, the one in Pompeii was the, mo was the oldest, but this one's still being used today. Well, the one in Pompeii, I don't know if you've noticed if you look back at those videos, but the one in Pompeii was actually still being um, used. Who was, who was the performer that went there? Oh yeah, Pink Floyd did a performance inside the one in uh, Pompeii, the amphitheater in Pompeii. But, see if I'm gonna pull back a little bit so you can see this. But this is such, such a nice area of, of France. We just had a really, really good dinner. People are just so nice here. And we're not even in Nice. We're in, we'll be in Nice in a couple of weeks. But there's not much more I can really show you on this. I just wanted to, let me zoom in real quick because this is an open that I didn't see. So that's what it would look like on the inside. So if you ever find yourself coming through on a train, I always say give yourself two nights, a travel day in, a full day, and then a travel day out. I think you will not regret it. So like I said in an earlier video, um, some of these, a lot of these, towns in Europe take on a different character at night. I wanted to come back out. It's actually, I think it's like after 11 p.m. Um, this little town gets really quiet around actually 8 p.m. Around 8 p.m. it gets really quiet and um, there's not a lot of nightlife. I did a little bit of a video of this area during the day, but I'm gonna do a walk around of the um, amphitheater. I think it's just simply called Nimes Amphitheater. And it's called um, the, this area is called like the Mini Rome or uh, French Rome or something like that. But the lighting effect is really nice. Now they're doing some scaffolding work here. So I'm just gonna pause it as I go around. Uh, there's a bullfighter in the front and then there's another structure um, I should probably take still shots and this is explaining some of the history and the purpose of the theater but I'm just gonna pause it real quick till I get to the other end where the bullfighter is okay so it's on the other side of the scaffolding now there are a lot of better videos always of stuff I find that other people have done now what makes mine compromised is that uh, there's, there is this construction and this on this side where it's walled off. That looks kind of cool. But I can't actually walk the perimeter of it because of what they're working on. Yeah, I'm just really not going to uh, be able to get a really good video of this. Like I said, other, other people have done it when there's none of this going on. And there's the moon. Venus was really bright the other night, I think two nights ago. I think, no, I don't know what that is, it's a bug. Well, that's the moon, but I thought something else flew in front of it. So here's the bull. And I think the bullfighter's in front of it. There's a group of Americans behind me. You can probably tell being very loud. So there's the bull in reference to the arena right there. And the bullfighter, I saw him earlier today. Let me pause this. This is actually quite amazing at night. All this is in the same area of the arena. 
Okay, so now I'm on the other side of where all the trucks were. And the, the bull is right there. And the bullfighter is right over there. And I'll get a better picture of him in a second. I'll walk around. When I get to the bullfighter, I'll do with some still shots. I don't think there's a need to go around the whole perimeter because it looks pretty much the same. Um, then the next structure is going to be really impressive. Olivia decided to stay in. Okay, so here's here's the bullfighter. And I'm going to have to imagine that this bullfighter um, fought in the arena. There's His name is here somewhere. Maybe this is it. Christian Monte. I can't pronounce it. I can't. Pr Not only that is dark, but what a shot that is! I'm going to get that on my camera. I think this is a well worth um, continuation because you're going from the night scene of the old right into the night scene of the new. We didn't eat at this little restaurant, but I'll probably say this a hundred times in this video, in these videos that Nims, Nims, however you pronounce it, you know, do a travel day in, then stay at the hotel, do a full day, hotel again, and then travel day out. Give yourself one full calendar day here. Um, I regret it that I didn't, because I didn't, I know there's a few museums and I looked at somebody else's video and this is not a hard um, venue to access. This uh, amphitheater is not hard to access. And I wish I could have, we got here about four, four or 5 p.m. and it had already started uh, um, calming down for the night. Things start closing up pretty early around here. Okay, this is not what I was looking for, but I just stumbled across this cathedral structure. There's another one that has a uh, critical spire that was in my previous video, but um, I just came across this and I didn't see it yet today, but this wasn't what I was headed for. It's kind of just sprung up on me. This is a glyce. It's almost midnight, there's all kinds of people out here still. And these little scooters are all over the place. This must be a popular night spot. Didn't expect to see this many people out. It's almost midnight. Oh, something just fell. Okay, this is what I was looking for. It's like one of the oldest intact Roman temples, buildings, whatever you want to call it in existence. I'm coming from the rear of it to the side, and then I'm gonna come around the front in a second. Like I said, it's getting on to be midnight and popular hangout area. But this was no more from probably a direct five to eight minute walk from my hotel. Okay, now as far as I'm concerned, this town is definitely on my itinerary next time I come through Europe. Spent at least a good full day, maybe two at this point. And I think this museum right here, I think this is the museum for it. What a, what a clean, nice, beautiful city. I only, like I said, this was just an intermediate stop trying to get to Barcelona for tomorrow. 
I never expected to see all this stuff. It's almost like it is. It's like a mini Rome. Oh, this is amazing. I'm across the street so I get a better look. Yeah, this is an old Roman temple or. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now and take some stills. But yeah, this is quite amazing. Very well preserved and intact. Man, are you for real? This is awesome. Corinth, Corinth, Corinth on the top, fluted columns. Almost, ooh, watch out for that drop. Kind of like what you'd see almost at the entrance of the Pantheon in Rome. This is remarkably intact and a lot of nightlife around it. I don't know if this part of the structure is contemporary with uh, the building itself. Like maybe there was a fountain here, there was water in here. Let's see what this says here. Let me see if this plaque's in English. The Roman temple consists of a portico and the shrine room with access to the front staircase, the open columns. Let me just give you some dates here. These are the significant structures with all within walking distance. All the stuff is within walking distance. Even have it in Braille. Wow, this is this is quite an amazing thing. All right, I think I think I go ahead and stop it now and take some stills. I'll try to get Olivia out here tomorrow early in the morning so she could see it. I'd hate for her to miss it. I just dragged my heels today and she wanted to come out at night, but she's getting tired. All right, uh, hopefully there's more. So Olivia and I are heading to Barcelona in a little bit, but wanted to come through, show you what this looks like during the day. I wanted to show Olivia, oh, these tents are gonna cover it. Let me cut through here. I'm glad I came out and saw it at night. So 
So we're headed from Nimes to Barcelona and we're meeting up with my uncle Doug. We'll be in Barcelona for about two days, two, three days. Uh, one of those days we're gonna go up to Andorra, which is a micro country. We're using a rental car for that to go up to Andorra and then um, taking a ferry to Morocco. All right, let me cross the street and then I'll take some stills. And then Olivia and I were gonna start heading, heading out. So in the daytime, nobody's here, but at night the place was packed. Oh, the doors are open. I wonder if we can go in. I don't know if we can go in or not. Well, probably can. It's probably just like a museum and it might charge you. All right, I'm gonna stop the video and get some still photos. Actually, let me back up. It turns out this is a busy little street for traffic, but there you go. I mean, right in the middle of this modern, modern city or 19th century city, at least, you got this ancient Roman uh, temple. All right, um, so this is I'm signing off on this one. This will be my that my Nims Nims uh, video series. Uh, the next time will probably be in Barcelona. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks for following along. Bye.